this is Stephanie and you have made your way to my channel Saving with Stephanie J. Well, I have a little deal that I think is pretty good. Um, I want to show it to you and then I'm going to tell you who told me. Does that make sense? Well, let me go ahead and tell you who told me because I might forget at the end. If y'all ever go watch Running Kimono, uh, her name is Rachel. She has a great channel and I was flicking through videos um, the other night, you know, not really paying any attention to them, and I come across her video, and she had this deal on, and so I wanted to do it and bring it to y'all. Alrighty? So, a big appreciation to her. Alright, you can go, remember when I went Saturday and went to the Dollar General and got these Lysol wipes, the 80 count? Remember? Okay, and it was, it's a real good deal, Saturday, with the 5 off 25 it, it, You know, if you threw it in your basket, it was. Well, this week, they're on sale for $275. Not $490. I think that's like $490 something. They're $275. Ooh. Okay. But that isn't the last of it. If you go and you get two. Okay. Whoop. There's a Stephanie hair. I'm losing my hair. If you go and get two on the internet on coupons.com, there is a free printable for when you buy two, get $4.99 off. It's not a buy one, get one free. It's not nothing like that. It is just buy two, get $4.99 off. Oh, you're starting to see the magic in this, aren't you? Your little um, mind is going round and round. I know my couponer friends understand. So if you buy two of them, two of them is $275 and $275, which makes $550. And then when you use that $4.99 coupon, it's only going to be $0.51 cents or a quarter for each. Now these are, like I say, the Lysol, the lemon scented Lysol. And I'm going to show you the back. I'm going to hold it there for a minute, okay? Oops. Just in case you can't, whoa, just in case you can't read that, I'm going to read the numbers out to you, starting like way over here, okay? Zero, one, nine, two, zero, zero, nine, nine, seven, one, six, four, okay? Maybe that helped you if there was a number you couldn't read. Okay, so... You can go get two of these for 51 cents for both of them. So, you know, a quarter a piece isn't bad. My store had two. Well, I've lost one. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably in the car because I went and got groceries too and I went to Walgreens. So that Walgreens video will be up here shortly once I get it made. So I want to show you the um, receipt. Now, I got four of them, okay? So I used two $4.99 coupons. Now, a lot of stores are really s different about printable coupons. You know your store. You know what you can do. If you think your store is going to be a little bit crazy, you might want to go through the, through the line twice. Uh, my store, they see me in there every Saturday and then usually like once during the week. So the woman was, you know, her and I talk quite a bit. So, but probably if you depend on your store, you can use a couple of coupons. On the coupon, it says only use one, but sometimes if your store is real busy, I, I'm, I'm not telling you what to do, but you can just do, take it with what you will. Okay, they were, so I got four of them at $275, right there. Whoops, there. Four of them at $275, which come out to be $475. And then two $4.99 coupons, which is $9.98. See, it worked perfectly. See, I got a couple of other things. And I, I tell you, I needed some bags, and I'll tell you why I done that. So this, so that, and a, a thing of gift tags for a dollar, and another thing of gift tags for a dollar, and a thing of bags for a dollar. So three dollars worth of Christmas stuff. It wound up being my total um, uh, 402. Okay, I, I, 
I wasn't about to go, like I say, my, my cashier let me go and use two coupons, but there was quite a few people in the store. And so I threw a few things in there with it because I wasn't going to go back and forth and, and, and there. So you see how that came off just perfectly. I mean, just, just, you know, it, about as perfect as it could come. Okay. Easy. So 275 and 275 is 550 minus a 499 coupon. Okay. Leaves you paying 51 cents. All right. All right, that's easy. Um, and like I say, with um, the holiday approaching, today is Tuesday the um, 21st. I have these at your holiday things so that you can wipe off the table, wipe off the doorknobs. I think the doorknobs are one of the things that are most forgotten is the doorknobs. You know, before everybody gets there, just walk over and, you know, nobody's going to see. Just wipe up all the doorknobs to the bathroom, um, you know, your tables and that kind of thing and let it air dry on its own. I'm not, I'm not being political whatsoever. I'm just trying to keep you and your family safe. Um, you know, and just, you know, just kind of keep things wiped down. Help a little bit. Because, I mean, even it's it's cold and flu season, too. So, if what, whatever you do for it. Because I know that I've had the stuffy nose. And, um, I mean, you know, if you don't want a stuffy nose and sore throat or sinus drainage. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, or even, or you might have Aunt Matilda bringing the, uh, um, uh, the ham and the ham ain't cooked and somebody everybody's gonna get sick well i saw wipes ain't gonna help that ain't tilda cook the ham cook the ham <laughs> mm, don't or the chicken don't don't give everybody salmonella don't make everybody sick okay you know i'm just okay now a lot of people and i'm going to talk about one more thing is fetch rewards and you know i love fetch rewards and people have come on to my channel and DM'd me about it and uh, in my videos and they've DM'd me on Instagram at Saving with Stephanie J. Go over and follow me because I'm kind of sassy on Instagram. Um, fetch Rewards. Now they, and, and I'm going to show you how, I'm going to tell you about it and then I'm going to show you how to fix it, okay? Fetch Rewards, I still think, is a wonderful app. But they're doing something that I just kind of don't agree with. But then kind of it don't bother me. Does that make sense? Okay. But it might bother you for... Let's say that uh, you're divorced and the marriage went bad and, you know, and you had signed your um, ex-husband up on... Um, Fetch Rewards and now his new wife's using it. And, you know, there's a lot of drama. You know what I mean? If you go in to Fetch Rewards, and let me show you. And like I say, I don't think Fetch Rewards intended to do this at all. It wasn't their intention. I just don't think they th thought it through. Okay? Okay. Here's Fetch Rewards. See the little running dog? <laughs> yep. Okay, hit that. Okay. Now, you see I just went to Dollar General and I, I got 25 points. Okay, do you see right here what it says? It says social, beta social. Right there. Hit it. Right there like that. Now, do you see all these people? All of these people are people that have signed up using my referral code, which, Lord mercy, I appreciate that, more than you know. It helps me bring um, things to your channel when you use... Uh, my numbers uh because it gives you extra points gives me extra points um talk about this this christmas you ought to have everybody at christmas sign up using your referral code and just have a bunch of receipts in your purse and get them started i'm just saying <clears throat> and maybe you can go shopping after the day after christmas and get you some good deals because you get a lot of gift cards i mean a lot of gift cards okay if, let's just say, Mary Beth. I can see that Mary Beth went to, see, where did she go? She went to Dunkin' Donuts 
and it doesn't, I'm not saying what she bought. I'm just saying that she went to Dunkin' Donuts and uh, she scanned her card and got 25 points. Uh, she also went to Cumberland Farms. She also, again, went to Dunkin' Donuts. Mary Beth, you loved, and Carabas. Now, I'm not, Mary Beth is not the name. I, I'm just kind of ad-libbing that. And I can see where she has gone. Five Below, Chick-fil-A. And I can see a little bit of what you know, her points. Likes, it, what if, now see, this does not bother me because I don't have anybody in my life that I care where they go because I go to YouTube so the World Wide Web knows where I shop. You know, I've told you that I live in North Georgia and, and, and things like that. So, mm, I mean, you, you, and I've seen a lot of you out so you know where I shop. Um, and you've done shop with me, so you know exactly where I've shopped. So it doesn't bother me. But let's say I had an ex and his new wife and I was doing all this stuff. And maybe they thought I was spending too much money. You know, maybe I was getting child support or something. And they see that I'm shopping all this, you know, putting all these receipts in. And they get kind of, you know, a, a, a wad in their underwear. Um, get it all tangled up and in a tizzy. And so... Sometimes there's things in your life that you don't want other people knowing any of your business. And I got you, boo. I got you. Okay? I got you. Okay? I got you. So I am going to show you how to get where they can't see you and you can't see them. It's going to take about five minutes. Well, actually, not even that long. Now, if you're somebody like me that has a lot of people signed up under me, um... It, it's going to take me, a, you know, five, ten minutes. But it's something that you can give it to your kid and your kid can do while they're watching TV because, you know, they always want to play with your phone. Or you can do it watching TV. I mean, it's, okay. Um, okay, let's go back to the beginning again. There's that fetch. Okay. Hit the fetch. Okay. Let me get over to it. Hang on. Oop, hang on, hang on. My phone's going slow. Phone's going slow. And I'm going to do like this so you can't see the names. Okay? Go over, and it says, Friends Activity at the top and Leaderboard. Okay, you see there at the top, it says, um, Friend Activity and Leaderboards. Can you see that at the top? Okay, hit the leaderboards one. Okay, see that? Alrighty. And then, click on one of these people that's on your leaderboard. So I'm going to click on this person right here. Let's see how I can do this. Up beside, up beside their night. Ah, crap, hang on. Hard, it's hard to show you, and when you pull them up, it's going to have their name right there. And you see those three little dots right there, right up under my painted fingernail? You're going to hit those three little dots, and it's going to say disconnect. Hit that, and it, it'll pop up a thing, and it will say disconnect. If you disconnect from your friend, you will no longer see their activity and they will no longer see yours. You hit confirm and they're off. So I've got, okay, I've got a few. So I could go in there and delete each of my friends if I wanted to because I don't, I don't, I don't never look at what, where they're at, where they're spending. I, I, I don't, I don't care. You know, if they went and got, um, $400 at the liquor store. I, I pfft, That's on you. I, it's all right, boo. I got you. But they might not want, let's say I'm the mama and it's, you know, and that's one of my kids who's been in AA and I see they're spending a bunch of money at uh, the alcohol store. Do you see why that might cause a little bit of trouble? If, 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 if right? Okay, you could have that crazy ex and his new crazy, crazier, new boo. You could, you could have issues yourself. You could have promised your husband, I am never, ever going to shop at, um, 
Macy's again and you, you told him that because maybe you spend too much money and he you might have signed him up of course you know men don't usually do this but he may see what you're spending at Macy's so that might be a problem there are different reasons why people might not want other people to know what they're doing any of those reasons are good or you just don't want them to know that's a good reason so do you want me to do that again okay let's do it again okay real slow see where it says the little fetch rewards right there the little running dog i'm going to hit it okay okay see there at the bottom where it says beta social that little purple one see it i'm going to hit that one and up at the top it's going to say friends activity and leaderboards okay hit leaderboards there we go and it's going to come up with all these people those are your friends i'm going to take that first person or whatever and i'm just going to hit on hers oops now do you see those three dots right there see them right there up top my uh, pinky finger see them i'm going to hit that and it's going to say disconnect <coughs> oops getting a message and i'm going to hit disconnect and it's going to come up with a thing that's there and i'll read it to you again if you disconnect from your friend you will no longer see their activity and they will no longer see yours confirm and they're gone so you know like i've like I, i've got quite a few i don't ah uh, if you've signed up under me i will never look at your um stuff i don't you know, I will never out your stuff. I'll never tell nobody your stuff. You see how I cover things up for other people's privacy. Since I do YouTube, I don't have any privacy. Very little. So I don't care if you see. Because you see, you know, what I was telling you going to Dollar General. And if you look real close, there's the address to Dollar General right there at the top. So you know where I'm shopping. You know, um, you know where I'm shopping. If I show you my Walmart receipt, you know that I'm shopping at Fort Oglethorpe Walmart. Okay, I mean, it do that doesn't bother me. Now, if y'all show up at my house, we're going to talk. Um, and you know that I'm, you know, kind of being silly with some of that, some of it. I want you to feel safe. This world is a crazy, crazy spot. You may be somebody that doesn't care about it, but you may have a daughter that signed up under you, and you might want to tell her so she can make her own decisions and show her how to show her, um, send her over to this video, and it will, it will tell her exactly how to do it. It will tell her exactly how to do it. And if you have any questions, okay, holler at me. Put it down below. I tell you what I did, and I went over to the app, you know, where you got it, you know, for in your apps, and I'll show you. You go in your apps and see where it says fetch rewards. And see where it says open right there? I opened it. Oops. Well, actually, actually I went down. I hit it. like that and it's got you can go down and uh, rate them and it's real funny because a lot of people have been rating them how angry they are that it's showing this information and all they're really doing like responding to your complaint is just telling you how to fix it so they're not really admitting anything there and they're not even really saying sorry you feel that way they're just like just go change it so it, it, and it's funny because a lot of people have given them um you know 
like one star but you see I, I i'm sure they're not factoring that in because look they still got a, a an average of 4.8 so they're not factoring that in and you know that's that's marketing and that's okay i mean you just got to be smarter than your average bear you got to be smarter than your marketers okay all righty so that was dollar general how you get those um 80 count for a quarter so there you go and you go on to uh, coupons.com print it out and you print out two per device and so that's what I've done and go in there and depending on how your Dollar General is about uh, printed coupons is what you do alrighty alright we will talk to you later now if you have any questions holler at me alright alright Talk to you later. Bye.